So we're here with the MakerBot uh, Cupcake CNC, which is a 3D printer. Now you heard me right, it's a 3D printer. So what that means is that you're taking plastic and you're building literal 3D objects. So the plastic is things like PLA, which is made out of corn, and ABS, which is the hard plastic that they make Legos out of. Now check out some of these objects. So you can build a wine glass, hollowed out, beautiful, hard. You can build, let's say you're playing foosball, and you, uh, your piece breaks, your man breaks, you can build yourself an actual foosball guy, soccer player, full size, full body to match the one that you have in your kit. Additionally, you can build things like Tom York's head because he actually open sourced the data that was filmed uh, for a video of his. So you can go online, find the data for his head and print an actual 3D version of Tom York's head and face. Uh, now the kits cost $950, which might seem a little bit expensive, but that's pretty amazing considering it's a 3D printer. Now what's also cool about it is that you're building it but all the boards and the electronics come fully assembled. So you're just kind of doing an assembly line of the actual wooden pieces, the pulleys, the gears and things like that. There's a couple hundred moving parts which is actually not that bad. Now what's also interesting about this whole scenario is that there's a whole thriving community of users who are taking these to build all kinds of different objects. They're sharing the objects online uh, so that you, it's almost like a competition but like a friendly competition and additionally they're sharing sharing information on how to build and improve upon the design. Everything is completely open sourced, the software is open source, the hardware is open source. So I think you're going to pretty much in the future see a lot more of these kits getting tweaked, getting rebuilt. Now the Cupcake CNC is about the size of a Mac Classic, which means that you can only build objects that are small. But in the near future, MakerBot's going to release an even larger 3D printer, which means you're going to see even bigger and bigger objects being built. And I just can't wait to see what people come up with.